Good afternoon, good, oh no, good morning, and welcome to today's short briefing. I'm, I'm going to begin by letting you know on the lockdown update all you need to know about new measures. Lockdown measures have been eased across England after more than seven weeks of restrictions, but how is everyday life changing? Can I meet friends and relatives? You can meet one other person from another household outdoors. The government's scientific advice is that you remain two metres, six feet apart. You can't visit friends or relatives in their houses or indoors, nor can you gather in a larger group with people who are not from your household. Apart from a new few exceptions, such as funerals, a high, higher fines will be imposed for anyone who breaks these rules. Can I exercise more? There is no longer any limit. To the amount of exercise or open air recreation such as sunbathing you can do outside of England. You can play outdoor sports such as golf or tennis with members of your household or with one other person from another household while maintaining social distance. Households can also drive any distance in England to destinations such as parks and beaches but they should travel to not travel to Wales, Scotland or Northern Ireland where the rules are different. Why are rules different in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland? Decisions on easing lockdown in Wales, Scotland and Northern Ireland are the responsibility of each national government. However, Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has announced the lifting of some lockdown measures in the country from the 28th of May. People will be able to sit or sunbathe in parks and open areas and most people from one other household although only outside and in small numbers. Some outdoor activities such as golf and tennis will also be allowed. It will also be possible to travel, preferably by walking or cycling, or recreation, although people will still be asked to remain, where possible, within or close to their own local area. Should I go back to work and how will I get there? People who can work from home in England should continue to do so for the foreseeable future. But the government says those who can't should travel to their workplace, even if it is, even if it is open, and walk, cycle, or drive if at all possible to prevent overcrowding on public transport. Those who do use buses or trains are being told to expect social distancing, queuing, and to wear face coverings. Workplaces should be made safe for staff with more cleaning, staggered work shifts, and for office workers, no hot desking. What if I go into other people's homes to work? If you're a cleaner or plumber and need to enter some letters home for your job, you are allowed to return to work. No work should be carried out in the home of someone shielding or isolating because of COVID-19 symptoms unless it is a household emergency. In homes where someone is clinically vulnerable, for example, where a person is aged over 70, face-to-face -face contact should be avoided and strict hygiene rules followed. Can I move home? House moves and viewings can resume again in England. Potential buyers and renters will be able to visit, show homes and view houses on the market to let or buy. Anyone who has already bought a new home can visit it to prepare for moving in. What about childminders, nannies and nurseries? Childminders and nannies in England have now been told they can return to work but only if they're caring for youngsters who come from the same household. During lockdown, registered childminders have either been closed or providing care for vulnerable children or children of key workers. The government said it would like preschool nurseries in England to start reopening in front of the 1st of June. Is it legal or would you like it to happen? There's a difference. When will schools and universities return? The government's ambition is for all primary school children in England to return before the summer, if for a month if feasible, in hopes that pupils in reception and years one and six will return from the 1st of June. Is that a one or law? But teachers' unions are calling for scientific evidence that schools will be safe to reopen, exactly. Class sizes are expected to be more than 15 pupils, with staggered breaks and frequent hand washing. The government says secondary schools and further education colleges should prepare for face-to-face -face contact with year 10 and 12 pupils who have key exams next year in addition to their continued remote home learning. Meanwhile, there is uncertainty over whether students will be able to go to university in person in September, or whether they will be taught partially or completely online. The university watchdog 
as new students must be told with absolute clarity how they will be taught accepting a place. The government in Wales has ruled out schools re reopening on the 1st of June. Scotland's First Minister Nicola Sturgeon has said that children will return to school on the 11th of August. Northern Ireland's First Minister Arian Foster said it was unlikely schools would return before the new academic year. Where can I go high, high street shopping again? Some non-essential retailers will be able to open in phases from the 1st of June if they can follow social distancing guidelines. Garden centres have now reopened in England, Wales and Northern Ireland, but the decision is still awaited in Scotland. Good. DIY chains, some of whom stayed open throughout the lockdown, have also remained reopened many of their stores. What about hairdressers, pubs and cafes? Pubs, restaurants, hairdressers, hotels, cinemas and places of worship will open from the 4th of July at the earliest, as long as they can meet social distancing measures. However, indoor public spaces such as beauty salons where social distancing may be difficult could reopen significantly later depending on when the rate of infection goes down. What about flying into and out of the UK? The Foreign Office currently advises against all but essential journeys. And all the government and the government has now said a two week guarantee quarantine period for people arriving in the UK will be introduced as soon as possible. There will be some exemptions for people arriving from the Republic of Ireland as part of a common travel area. What are the new quarantine rules? Government backtracks on French quarantine exemption. If international travellers cannot say if they plan to self-isolate for 14 days, they will have to do so in accommodation arranged by the government. All passengers are advised to remain two feet, six feet apart wherever possible. They should also consider wearing gloves and a face covering, which some UK airports and airlines have made compulsory. Good. Coronavirus conspiracy theories. More than a fifth of people believe the virus is a hoax. I don't. Confirmed cases. Five million. 426,542 today, plus 374. Deaths, 346,923, plus zero today. Recovered, 2,231,738 today, plus 8,215. Stay alert. We can't all help control the virus if we all stay alert. This means you must stay at home as much as possible. Work from home if you can. Limit contact with other people where possible. Keep your distance if you go out two metres apart where possible. Wash your hands regularly. Do not leave your home if you or anyone in your household has symptoms. Do not leave your home if you or someone you live with has any of the following. A high temperature, a new continuous cough, a loss of or change to your sense of, sm of smell or taste. An angry widower has told he stayed apart from his wife who died of COVID-19 while Dominic Cummings refused to apologise for driving 260 miles during lockdown. I'm ending today's briefing now, the shorter briefing of today. Thank you very much for joining me with today's briefing. I'm ending today's briefing now. Thank you. News reporter Dwayne Hart's MK Local News and Awareness UK3. Thank you.